हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सेगमेंटेशन इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन Previously, we have already discussed the concept of memory management and partitioning. What exactly contiguous and non-contiguous memory? Fixed size, dynamic size partition, then fragmentation, then memory allocation strategies like first fit, best fit, worst fit, with all examples. We have also discussed about the complete concept of paging with all example and simplest explanation ever. Please refer all these videos. that will be helpful for your exam purpose or any other entrance exam purpose i have attached link of all these videos in below description box now in today's session we will discuss about first what exactly segmentation their concept architecture sol examples at the end features of segmentation and some important question bank let's see all these points one by one The first question is what exactly segmentation? As we discussed earlier, in operating system there are multiple process or programs. Every process required the memory for storing purpose and execution purpose. So segmentation is one of the memory management technique used by operating system. Basically, a complete memory is divided into the segments like code segment, data, stack, or heap segment. every segment having their own functionality i will give you one simple example assume that you have a operators program in java programming language so first segment indicate the addition function second segment indicate the subtraction third segment indicate the main function fourth segment indicate the symbol table or stack in this way so basically they divide your complete program in segments that's why segment has different types of data or functionalities in last lecture we have discussed the concept of paging in paging complete memory divided into the fixed size partition but segment is opposite of that in segment a complete memory is divided as per the requirement of project or we can say variable size of units so this is called segmentation now let's understand segmentation concept in operating system now let's see here suppose cpu want to execute the process p1 and this process p1 stored into the logical memory because cpu is interacted with the logical or virtual memory only cpu provide the logical address to the particular process now this process stored in logical memory in the form of segments for example segment 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's assume that process p1 means operation program in java programming language means first segment 0 indicate the logic of arithmetic operation arithmetic function then subtraction function then uh, there is a stack segment then a code segment is there again this is a main function right in this way basically this process is divided into the modules which is called segments so there are total five segments in process p1 now uh, in segmentation there is a segmentation table which is called segment table in last session we have discussed about the concept of paging in paging there is a page table right so similarly there is a segment table so segment table is used for mapping between logical memory and physical memory in segment table there are total three column segment number base address and limit it indicate that segment number 0 have stored into the physical memory and the address is 500 and the length of segment 0 is total 600 okay so this is the address in physical memory now see here assume that this is a physical memory that is ram random access memory in your system now this all segments have actually stored in physical memory right for execution purpose now see 
first base address is 500 so at 500 segment 0 have stored right and their limit or length is 600 means 500 plus 600 and the answer is 1100 it indicate that from 500 to 1100 this is the address of segment 0 where segment 0 have actually stored in physical memory like you is your home address got it now next uh, in ascending order after 500 there is a 1500 sequentially right so 1500 means segment number 2 so at 1500 space segment 2 have stored the length is 400 so 1500 plus 400 that is 1900 after that segment 1 is there right the base address is 2500 so next segment 1 the base address is 2500 length is 800 so 2500 plus 800 that is 3300 after segment 1 segment 4 is there okay so segment 4 the base address is 3800 that is starting address okay and the length is 400 so 3800 plus 400 that is 4200 and last one segment number 3 so their base address is 4600 that is your starting address and ending address is 4800. So in this way all the segments modules have stored in physical memory and it indicate their base address their end address means start to end. This is the address of segment 0. If CPU want to execute the segment 1 then they check into the segment table. So segment 1 their physical memory address is 2500 then they map with the physical memory at 2500 the segment 1 will be execute in this way so this is called segmentation segmentation or every segments have stored with variable size of data not a fixed size right so this is the advantages over the paging now let's understand architecture of segmentation now this is a segmentation architecture diagram let's understand with the example see cpu cpu is uh, connected with the logical memory right they interact with the logical memory now assume that cpu want to execute segment 0 and line number 5 so s indicate the segment 0 their logical address and d indicate the line number 5 in segment 0 Assume that there is a particular Java programming language code. There are total 10 lines of code is there. So CPU want to execute line number 5 in this way. So S indicate the logical address of segment 0 and D indicate the line number 5. Got it? So CPU want to execute this. Now this logical memory is mapped with the segment table. In segment table, segment 0 base address is stored that is 500 and their limit is 600 as per the uh, previous slide example so base address indicate the segment 0 have stored address number 500 in physical memory see there is a link between this right so 500 this is the starting address in physical memory of segment 0 now limit or length is 600 it means that this is a physical memory the base address is 500 length is 600 means 500 plus 600 that is 1100 so from 500 to 1100 segment 0 have stored into the physical memory now cpu want to execute line number 5 basically operating system fetch data from address in physical memory of line number 5 got it now see here so d is equal to 5 now there is a formula in segmentation and the formula is d less than limit so d means 5 limit means 600 so 5 is less than 600 yes right so when 5 is less than 600 this condition is true then they perform the addition function they use the formula like base address plus limit so our base address is 500 right and our d D means 5 that is 500 plus 5 okay so 500 plus 5 answer is 5 0 5 got it 
it means that line number 5 have stored into the address 505 in physical memory. So when CPU want to execute line number 5 in segment 0, they track this particular address from segment table. Segment table map with the physical memory. They fetch line number 5 from 505 address and display data to the user. And if this condition is false, okay, if uh, there is suppose 750 is there. So 750 not less than 600. This condition is false, right? So at that time, segmentation fault. This kind of error have generated. So this is called segmentation architecture. Now let's understand the SOL examples. See, so this example asked in your previous year question paper as well. See, what is the question? Consider the following segment table. One segment table is given, right? That is segment number, base address and length. Now you have to find out the physical address for following logical address. So see here, uh, segment number that is 0, 2, 4, 3, 1. Their logical address are given and you have to find out the physical address. Okay. So logical address means this address is from virtual memory. And you have to find out the physical address means where this segment is actually stored into the RAM in random access memory in physical memory. So you have to find out the physical address of this segments. How? See here. So the first step is you have to generate physical memory diagram. Okay. Now see here. Which one is the smallest one, smallest base address? 520. That is segment 2, right? So at 520 address, segment 2 have stored in physical memory. The length of segment 2 is 925. So 520 plus 925 answer is 1445. I mean this is the address. This is a physical address of segment 2. Clear? Now after that, uh, this one segment 0 sequentially in ascending order. Okay, so next one is a 1790 Segment 0 have stored right and their length is 350. So 1790 plus 350 answer is 2140 So in this particular region in this particular address segment 0 is there After that segment 1 Their base address 2722 that is starting address. Okay, that is segment 1 Length is 1050. So 2722 plus 1050. Answer is 3772. After that, uh, segment 4 have stored. Address is 4200. Length is 655. So 4200 plus 65. That is 4855. And at the last, segment 3 is there. Their starting address is 5200. That is segment 3 plus 450. And that is 5650. Got it? So this is the physical memory. Like segment 2, they are starting address A and address. Okay. In this way, all segments have stored into the physical memory. Now, as per the question, you have to find out the physical address. See. So for find outing the physical address, you have to apply these rules. Okay. So we have already discussed these rules on previous system architecture diagram. Right. So first you have to check D is less than equal to length or not, right? After that you have to calculate the physical address like base address plus D in this way, okay? Now let's see here. Suppose first uh, is 0330. So that indicate the segment 0 and uh, D indicate the line number 330, okay? So see here, uh, line number 330 on segment 0. So what is the physical address of this line in this way? So first rule is you have to check D is less than equal to length or not. So 330 is less than equal to length. What is the length of segment 0? 350. Yes. Now apply the formula for physical address. Base address plus D. So check here. So base address of segment 0 is 1790. Okay. Plus their D. D value is 330. Okay. So 1790 plus 330. And the answer is 2120. So this is a physical address of line number 330 in segment 0. See here in segment 0, starting is 1790, end is 2140. And line number 330 is present on 2120 in between this. Got it? So just remember this formula. Now check with the next one. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज अ टू सेगमेंट टू एंड लाइन नंबर फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फर्स्ट रूल फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इज लेस दैन द लिमिट सेगमेंट टू लिमिट लेंथ इज नाइन ट्वेंटी फाइव येस यू हैव टू कंपेयर विद द लेंथ ओके येस डी इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू लेंथ नाउ कैलकुलेट द फिजिकल एड्रेस सो फिजिकल एड्रेस मीन्स बेस प्लस डी सो दैट इज सेगमेंट टू सेगमेंट टू बेस एड्रेस इज फाइव ट्वेंटी एंड लाइन नंबर फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फाइव ट्वेंटी प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव आंसर इज वन जीरो फोर फाइव सो दिस इज अ फिजिकल एड्रेस ऑफ लाइन नंबर फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इन सेगमेंट टू अगेन नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट इज फोर सेगमेंट फोर लाइन नंबर सेवन हंड्रेड इन दिस वे ओके नाउ फर्स्ट रूल इज चेक हियर सेवन हंड्रेड दैट इज डी इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू लेंथ वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ फोर सिक्स फिफ्टी फाइव सो सेवन हंड्रेड इज लेस दैन सिक्स फिफ्टी फाइव no means this line is not present in segment 4 so you have to mention invalid physical address let's check here this is your segment 4 okay uh, the 4200 this is the starting point and 4855 this is a uh, ending address right so line number 700 is not present in segment 4 so uh, that is a invalid statement they generate the segmentation fault now check with the next one line number 3 sorry segment number 3 line number 400 so check d is less than equal to length 400 is less than equal to length segment 3 length is 450 yes 400 is less than equal to 450 yes now calculate the physical address so physical address means base address of segment 3 that is 5200 plus d d means 400 so the answer is 5600 c At five six zero zero, a particular line is present. So CPU fetch that particular line for execution purpose from this physical address. Got it? In this way, you have to solve the examples. Now, next is features of segmentation. Okay, the first feature is variable size segment. In paging, we have stored the data in fixed size. Operating system stored the data in memory in fixed size length, right? But here, seg every segment having the different size as per the modules, as per the function, right? So as per the requirement of segmentation, a particular partitions have created in memory. So this is a plus point. Next one is a logical addressing. Like in segment table, base address and limits have given, right? So segment table properly indicate where a particular segment have stored in physical memory. They indicate the starting address, right? So basically, they uh, fastly execute a particular code. Again, segment table. Segment table used for mapping purpose from uh, logical memory to physical memory. Next one is a protection and sharing purpose. So this is a plus point in segmentation. As we discuss, multiple process share the common memory space. right uh, there is a common stack segment code segment between the process so protection is necessary so for that purpose operating system gives the rights to the particular process as per the read write or execute authority this is called as protection next one is a fragmentation so here external fragmentation will be generated because uh, data have not data have stored into the non contiguous memory but they does not suffer from the internal fragmentation right less memory wastage is there so we have already discussed internal external fragmentation concept in last lecture right so these are the features of segmentation that's why segmentation used in operating system for memory management purpose now as per the previous year question paper one of the most important question they have asked frequently right what is segmentation how address translation is performed in segmentation system so first you have to mention some theory and also draw the diagram or system architecture diagram uh, that have mentioned on previous slide and explain it by taking any example so here diagram is compulsory for 6 marks and again same question is there that we have solved on previous slide like what are the physical address of following logical address so Uh, you have to uh, practice this kind of example this is all about segmentation thank you keep learning